everyone welcome back to Kirsty Cullen Sketch today I'm really hoping I can do a really fun really easy colour on for you and I thought it would be quite fun to use something other than pencils so I'm going to be using today the James Davenport colour sticks and this is all I'm going to use on the page I'm not going to add any pencils I'm not going to use any other supply this is going to be my only supply so you can get things that are similar to Jane Davenport. I think Lucy just adds colour recently bought some um, some of these style crayons off Amazon, a nice cheap set which were lovely. Um, so they are just a bit like a lipstick almost. I'll open one up for you and show you. But they are like this, so they do look like a lipstick. If you type them in on Amazon, lots should come up, lots of different brands, etc. Um, but that's all I'm going to be using today. Really fun to work with. You can add water th to these, so they are water sol soluble as well, or you can just use them straight onto the page, which I'm going to do a bit of today just to show you. Now, I'm going to be blending them with the blending stumps. So these come in a pack of about six or seven on Amazon. They're only £2.99 um, for a pack of these. Really cheap. And then I've just got a palette in case I want to add water to any of the areas. So the book I'm going to be colouring in today is the Cute and Creepy by Camilla Derrico. And I'm going to be colouring the page on the left hand side. So this little dragon here. And I'm going to be colouring this for part of Colouring Chat with Sammy's new Colouring Checklist Challenge 2. Now if you haven't seen that, head over onto Colouring Chat with Sammy's YouTube or Instagram and she will have the downloadable documents for you but the colouring prompts and it runs from April 2021 to April 2022 and um, there's three pages worth of prompts and um, so you can see here and the top one is colour new to you artist then underneath it says colour a page from a book you love so that's the one I'm going to be doing today this is a book I absolutely adore as um, most of you know I'm a big fan of Camilla Derrico's work and this is one of my favourite books so I'm going to get straight into this today. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit while we do the dragon. Then you can see. So I've got quite a few shades of pink in this set. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to lay down the palest pink. Because I'm going to have a pink dragon. And then I'm going to do some shading, some darker shading with this darkest one. So the shade I'm using to lay a base layer all the way round is called out so it's almost the same color in my nails see so I'm just gonna roll it up and I'm just gonna add it to the page and you can even see it goes down like a lipstick it's so smooth you don't need to press on hard at all so I'm just gonna base it all and then I'm gonna go over with my blending stump and it's I've not actually done a whole page in these before. I have used them a bit like near colour twos where you add water to them and mix them on a palette and then lay them down. I've done that with them a few times. But I thought this would be really fun and what better page to try something like this on than one of these fun images. You know, you can you can have so much fun with these images. So I'll just do his head at first and then I'll blend his head. So that's all the colour. Pop that to the side. I'm going to get my little blending stump. I'm using the number four on this one. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Um, if you've got any smaller areas you might want to get a smaller one. But I know, And I'm just rubbing over in circular movements. And you can see it's blending blending out really nicely you can use your finger if you'd rather use a your finger your finger works to blend it but you are going to get a dirty finger so it's up to you but fingers absolutely fine to blend this with just a side note as well if you can hear children screaming in the background um they are all still at home but it has been requested that i do a few more sort of real-time videos rather than time lapsed so obviously in a house with five kids you're gonna hear some background noise noise on my real time videos so i apologize 
if that's not to everyone's liking but they'll be back at school before you know it so I'm just taking my time because I really want to get all the areas blended in I've never like I say I've never coloured a full page in these before so I'm hoping that the second layer goes on top and blends nicely to create the shadows but we shall see I think I'm I think you know I think your finger works better to blend this I'm gonna go in with my finger it really it does I would just knock the um, blending stumps on the head and just do it with your finger if you can yeah that's much nicer it's much easier to blend that So now I'm going to go in on the body with the same colour, pout. Let's put a nice layer all over, all over his hands. Now you might need the blending stumps for near the tiny areas like his little toes there. Um, because if you go over with your finger you might just smudge it outside the lines. Um, but everywhere else I'd say do it with your finger, it, it's a lot more effective. So over his little tootsies, I'm still in frame aren't I, let's pull you up a bit. And his tail here, let's get that tail on. Now I think his wings, I'm either going to do a different colour or I'm going to have them a different shade. So I'm not going to put this pink down on there because I've not quite decided what I want to do with that yet. I think he's actually a little devil until he can this tail. I don't know, is he a dragon or a devil? Really not sure. Right, and I'm going to use my finger to just blend that out again. Sorry if the camera's a bit wobbly. We're okay there. You can even use your pinky finger for the smaller areas. That's a bit better. So that's a lovely little blend. Go, go. They're so much fun to use these. They really are. And they don't get used often enough. They don't come out of my cupboard very often. I'm not too worried if I go over the background a little bit because I will be doing the background with some of this but I am going to add some water to the backgrounds. So there we go. That's the pout shade. I'm going to go in with my darker shade now to try and get some shadows. So this one's called Pucker Up. And I'm going to do this colour right into the edges. Just like a little line and then I'll blend it. So where all these sort of little shadows are that she's already put in for you. These little sketchy bits here. That's where the dark areas would be. Maybe a little bit over his eye. A little bit here. A little bit in the corner. Under his hand. You can see she's sort of sketched in the darker bits. Which makes it easier. All under there, a bit on his booty, bottom of his foot, and on his tail a little bit, a little bit there, a little bit there, and then I'm going to blend, use my um, little pinky finger for this again, are we in shot? Use my little pinky finger. We are just going to get a deeper colour here and there. I'm going to get the blending stumps out on some of this because that is really tiny bit there. Yeah, I'm going to get the blending stump in the corner. So I'm going to use a smaller one for this. I'm going to use this number two little blending stump to try and get right in there. It's super, super fun this. Super fun. 
drop me a comment down below if you have anything similar to these colour sticks or the Faber Castell Gelatos or any of the um, budget friendly ones. I'm just going to get my finger in, spread that out a bit better there. Oh, it's really cute. So finger does really work better than blending stump. I'm just using the blending stump to get right in the corner where I can't get without going over. And then I'll use my finger for the centre bit. That's a bit easier. Oh, it's super cute, isn't it? Uh, I'll have to use the blending stump here. That's far too tiny for me to get in there. Drag it down. Oh, I'm loving this. I am loving it. Let's just get in the corner. You could go over and add pencil if you prefer. But I just thought it would be really fun to do the entire page in this. Just to show how versatile you can make your colouring pages. Which different supplies you can use. I suppose it's a quicker alternative as well to pencil. I know if I've got a large area I like to base that area with either a water medium or a soft pastel but maybe you could use these more often and I'm just going to move on to his little tail I'm just going to move my light because I think we might have a bit of a have we got a bit of a glare is it better if I turn it off I think that's a bit dark isn't it we'll leave it leave it alone Kirsty <laughs> so I'm going to move on to his tail and just get right on the edge with the blending stump and then use my finger There we go. I'm just wondering if that would erase with an eraser. Because I'm curious. I've never tried it before. This little bit that I've gone over. I'm just wondering if it will erase. It does seem to be erasing a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it erases up a bit. Well, that's okay. Right, so that's him done. I'm going to do his um wings now i'm just trying to work out what this white space is do you think that's part of the background and then his wings like there i'm wondering if it's part of the background i'm not really so too sure but i'm just going to go in on his ears because i've completely missed his ears so i'm going to go in with a fish shed that we used which was the pout color just really roughly you know, we don't need to be neat when we're blending it all out. So, just use my finger again. And then a bit of the darker shade, which was the puck up, just on the little dirt bits there. A little bit there. Don't want too much. there right his wings what color i do want them to stand out so i don't want them to do i don't want to do them pink so i think i'm gonna go for this purple shade so i'm gonna go for this which is called deep vein and this is gonna be the lightest shade on the wings so i'm gonna really Roughly get a layer down. I 
So has anybody else been joining in with Colouring Chat with Sammy's Colouring Checklist Challenge 2? I really do like the prompts. Um, I didn't quite complete the last one, the first colouring challenge. Um, but I almost did. Almost did and I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. It's about taking taking the parts from it that you that you want to do, what you enjoy. Um, but I think this is my fourth or fifth prompt for that challenge. So I'm going to go in with my finger. You might want to clean your finger off if you've already got a transfer from the pink on, but mine's okay. It's not too messy, to be honest. I'm just blending this in. Really cute, this day. Really fun colours. They blend really, really nicely as well. I believe these sort of things are used quite a lot in journaling. If anybody does journaling. And just up here. Sorry if I'm not quite, if my big hand's in the way. So I had to get the right angle with my little pinky finger. But there we go. Now I'm going to use a darker shade of purple, which is this. It's called Eccentric. And again, I'm going to go in where she's put the deeper areas that you can see that she's sketched out. So a bit there. Just, just a little bit, not too much. You can see it's rounding the shadows. And a little bit up here. And we'll blend that. I think I'll give him a little brown eyes. I've not got much in respect of a colour palette to work with because I do only have these colours in this set here, which you can see. So we've got greys, blacks, purples, pinks, browns, because it is supposed to be a skin tone set. I'm not sure if the other set got discontinued. So if you're planning on anything like this and you want more of a range of colours you might be better off going for one of the budget friendly brands or the gelatos um, something like that so I am just going to go in with this one um, this is called Wink and I'm going to do his eye with this one so a bit up here I'm going to leave that little white highlight there and then I'm going to go in with the black for the iris it's really i'm gonna to have to go in with a blending stump on that one it's really tiny tiny area so let's get my blending stump i'm gonna use the clean end of this blending stump just mix that in Like that, and then let's blow that bit of excess away, and we'll get the black, which is called Flutter. Oh, it's beeping outside. <laughs> I'm gonna put the tiniest bit on there. I'm gonna blend this side with the blending stump because it's super tiny, and my hand will just get it everywhere. And then this one, I'm going to do it with my little pinky finger, just so it's not as, so it's a bit more rough. Because I don't want a perfect circle on these irises. Sometimes if you do a perfect circle, it doesn't look very realistic. So I find just roughing it up a bit at the ends. Um, now, I'm going to do his horns. I'm going to do them grey. So I'm going to use this grey matter. And I have only got this shade of grey, so I might put the grey down and then in the shadows put a tiny, tiny bit of black. The tiniest, tiniest amount though. So let's get this down. I think I'll use this grey for inside his mouth as well. And then he can have a pink, a pink tongue or a peach tongue. I think I've got a couple of shades of peach 
but I'm not sure what colour to go for yet. So yeah, let's go inside his mouth with this grey, leave his teeth white, unless we accidentally touch over them. <laughs> But yeah, that should be okay. Blend it all out. Like that, and this one. Now I'm going to put the tiniest, tiniest amount of this black on flutter or else it's just going to be overwhelming. Um, so I'm just going to literally dot a few little bits and then smudge it in. You don't want it taking over. Or I don't want it to. <laughs> Slightly, a bit more there where it's really dark. And some over here. I might have to expand on my collection of these. Just so I've got some different tones. See how when you just put a little bit on it, it just deepens it up. It's not too much. It's not too much black. Being very careful there. You could add more if you wanted to, I suppose. But less is more, so you start off with less and then you're not going to totally ruin it. You can always add more. It's easier to add more to take it away so that'll do for that and we'll just inside his mouth I might use the blending stump because I don't want to get it on his teeth I want him to have nice white teeth <laughs> it is harder than the with the blending stump though it doesn't I find it doesn't spread as much as if you use your finger not quite as effective there we go i'm gonna go in with the lightest no i'm gonna i'm gonna see what sort of shades these are i'm gonna test them on a i'll test it on the back of my hand why not oh that's a bright like a sort of bright orangey color isn't it i might use that for the background let's wind it down what's this one like this one might be better suited for the tongue let's see yeah, we'll use that one for the tongue, I think. And this is called rice paper, this one. So we'll get in there with that. I'm going to pop a tiny touch of pink over the top of that tongue as well. The lightest pink we use, so the pout. For the shadows so mix it up a bit right I think I've missed a bit of the wing off I don't know if you can see but there's a tiny tiny bit sticking out under his ear here normally I only realize I've done that once I've stopped filming but we've caught it so let's just that's going to have to be done with the blending stump. It's tiny, tiny. So let's go in there with that. Pull it out slightly. That'll do. Now with horns, I'm just going to go straight in with this purple, this deep vein purple. And I'm just going to have his horns purple. Because we've got a limited colour palette here. So I'm going to have them matching his wings. There. 
there we go now i do believe that's part of his wing as well just here so i'm gonna go in there with a blending stump it's tricky to find all the bits that you've missed and that's that so i'm gonna pop all these back in here now and i'm gonna do a background so i'm gonna mix up some purples and i'm gonna mix up this really bright orange color that i found which is called moon kiss but i'm gonna do it with a bit of water this time so i'm gonna mix it on a palette first so what i'm gonna do is just get this just put lots of it down on here you can see it breaking off a bit <laughs> it's better if you do it on a textured palette like the Caran d'Ache um, palette which I would normally be using but it really needs a good clean and um, yeah I just jumped on when I could but you can see I've added a bit of water onto that now with my paintbrush make sure it's all dissolved and put a bit more water on you can really see that now. More water. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit down underneath him where you can see the shadow here. I'm just going to put it under there. So you can see it's, you've turned it into a watercolour, which is fun. really fun 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 if you wanted to deepen up any areas you could let it dry and then you could go back in directly with the crayon on top of the areas that you want i'm gonna go in behind him a little bit and up here a little bit I'm going to splat everything in the background of this page so it doesn't matter too much about how neat the edges are on here because I am just going to go to town on it. I'm going to use some of water and some I'm just going to add directly to the page. I'm going to put some here in the little gaps that we've got. This background here. Got a bit of pink, pink mixed in there. No, that little bit that's not dissolved. Add some more water to my palette. The paper in these colouring books as well are fine with water media. I've never had no problems with putting water down in these books, so don't worry about that. Get that off. going to mix a little bit more up so I'm going to put a little bit more crayon on my palette and a little bit more water on my palette and then we can go in near the top just up here and in here super fun this And to think we've done it all just with those crayons and nothing else. You could go in, I might go in with a little bit of white, G, um, white gel pen around the bubbles later on when it's dried. But we'll see. Add a bit more water to this. Just really get in there. And a 
bit over the top but I'm going to go in sort of a bit paler at the top here I'm not going to have the depth that I had at the bottom a bit more water on and just use the water to blend the edges that's what you can do if you find you have a hair shed just got my glass of water here just dip it in the water and then just use the water to try and soften looking super cute now I'm gonna let that dry for a little minute and then I'm gonna go in with some of these color sticks in the dry state so straight onto the page so I've just zoomed us out a bit so we've got the full area of the background now and I'm going to use these directly onto the page and as I did on the actual little dragon I'm just going to smudge them all in with my finger so I'm going to randomly, randomly dot some of this colour, some of the purples in the background and then we're going to smudge it all together so it's creating a wonderful sort of mixed, mixed together background. We're all about the fun, fun elements with this page. So let's get some of the purples, the deep vein. Let's get some in the corners. My finger is going to be so messy after this. Guaranteed. <laughs> I will need to go and wash my hands. I'm not going to go too much into the centre of this bit because um, I do want to keep that that colour. But I will go into it a little bit. I will smudge some areas into it. So I'm going to use the other purple now, which is the eccentric. This one is the dark one, I believe. This one's a bit darker. You're probably looking at this thinking, oh my gosh. But, you know, it's fun to just pick a fun page and just go with it and not be too worried about the outcome. If something doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out. I've never done this before. I don't know how it's going to look. It might turn out disastrous. But you've just got to be brave because if you're not brave and you don't try things, then you never know. And it's nice. It's really nice to just have fun because that's what it's all about to me. If you're not having fun when you're colouring, then what's the point? Um, it shouldn't be stressing you out. Colouring shouldn't be stressing you out. It should be calming you. <laughs> That's why I always say. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of the pink now. Just to some of the areas left. Which is pout. So just tiny little appearances of the pink. Into some of the areas. Let's try and I think it's running out this one. It needs pushing up. I should have put some masking tape on that page. But it should just rub off. You can hear my little girl in the next room being noisy. So I think as well I'm going to get a scrap piece of paper just to put underneath this page to protect the page directly underneath it. So I'm going to get a piece of paper and I'll be right back. So I've put that piece of paper underneath now and we're gonna go for it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hold this down and I'm gonna use 
hold it there move that out of the way and I'm just going to smudge these colours into each other so they will all be overlapping let's see what fun we can create I may even add a bit of water to this Yeah, I'm definitely going to add some water to this. I don't know if it's dried up when I, I just had to see to my toddlers and I think it's dried up a bit. It's not um, smudging together as well as the dragon did. Let's see. So I'm going to smudge all the rest of this side to look like that side. Then we're going to add some water to it just to try and get it to blend a bit better. If it doesn't, it doesn't, and that's what I was saying. As long as you're trying things out, you know if something works, you know if something doesn't work, you know not to leave it so long before trying to blend it out. Move my piece of paper over to the corner. Get in there. I did just put this tape down the side as well, just to protect the page on the right hand side. So I didn't want to get all that smudged in. This is really fun, if nothing else. Really fun. See the pink colour there that we put on last is blending a bit better, because that's the last colour I put on. The colours that I put on first, they've sort of dried up a bit and so they're not blending. So you maybe would have to do this bit by bit. Instead of going in and putting all the colour down like I did, put one section down, then blend it, then the next, then blend. Because this appears to have dried up quite a lot. I'll have no finger left after this. So that's about as blended as I can get it with my finger. I don't know, it looks pretty fun though. I know it's not blended, I know you can see all this roughness, but it looks pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna go in with my big paintbrush and see what happens when I add a bit of water so let's see guys I don't think it's going to blend out much with a brush either looking at this not really not really it might be one of those live and learn moments it's blending the purples out a little bit into that but that's about it it's not really budging this unless i can put a bit of water down and then try with my finger let's try this one maybe that works a bit better We'll try anything and everything now <laughs> and then we'll leave it as that. But I'm going to go in with some um, white gel pen details over the bubbles. It is working a bit better to blend it, adding the water and then going over with my finger again. So we'll just see what it looks like in the end. Add some water on there. That's a lot better there down there. Oh, 
I love playing around with things though, it's super fun. I've been looking at the brush or brush or powders as well. I saw Colour Me Stress Free using those and they look really fun for backgrounds. This is, it's certainly blending a lot better. I think it's the orange colour that sort of sticks out more than anything else. The orange colour sort of sticks out and doesn't really blend in with the other colours. It wasn't really complimentary, shall we say. Let's move the paper over a little bit. Is it looking? <laughs> it's like in a bit of rific. Oh dear. Well that's a fun experimental page anyway, isn't it guys? Might put some glitter in the background. That's my usual trick. If I do something that I don't like, I'm trying to hide it. I'll try to cover it up, I'll cover it with glitter. It normally works. <laughs> It only works, guys. <laughs> Get into that corner. I like how the dragon turned out. I just got a bit too adventurous with the background, I think. But the dragon's really cute. Got an idea to try and blend that orange in anyway, which we'll try in a minute. The orange is the only one what I can't get blended in very well. Let's have a go here. So I'm gonna go over the top with the orange again and then try and blend. So let's make sure you're in shot. So I'm gonna go directly with this and try and re-wet it if you if you like. Reactivate it. No, it doesn't really work. The orange just wasn't very complimentary to this background at all. No, not really. Not really liking that. rid of some of the harsh lines and try and just pull it out and blend it a bit better that's all I'm trying to do with the orange now it really wasn't a very complimentary colour for that background let's get that off there we go <laughs> that's the best you're getting from me for that background Oh, it really is. Right, I'm going to go in with some white gel pen in a second. So I'm going to put these um, Jane's Avonport sticks away. Let's close those up. Emergency vehicles. Pass my house again. No escape in that. No escape. So I'm hoping that the white gel pen goes over the top of these Jane Davenport sticks, but I haven't tried it before, so we shall see. This could be another 
bum bum move but we shall see so that is a dry area oh it's going over nicely let's bring you in let's bring you in a bit while i do this so i do like to do this with bubbles and i find these artesia gel pens are quite opaque so they're quite good for doing this Drop me a comment if you've ever done a full page using these before or would you try it after seeing my disaster of a background? The actual illustration was cute, it's just I wish I hadn't put that orange into the background because it really didn't blend very nicely. But other than that, I love him, I love my little dragon. So if you're going over anything like this with white gel pen, it does take some time. Um, especially sometimes if you've got a bit of a dodgy white gel pen, it takes even longer because you have to keep going over. Um, this is proving a bit harder to go over than going over pencils. Only slightly, it's not too bad. And we're still in shot. Let's move you up a bit where we get these little bubbles. I did just put a bit of white gel pen on his eye as well. Um, just there for the highlight. I think I just did that off camera when I was finding my piece of paper. So this is another page that I've completed in this cute and creepy book. I think that's about 20 pages altogether now. My plan is to complete this book by the end of the year. So fingers crossed, I might actually do it. I've only ever completed one colouring book before and it only had 14 images. And it was the Colour Edge Wild 2 by Emmanuel Collin. That is up on my channel if anyone wants to see that completed book. It'll be under my playlists under completed pages or completed books but yeah it's this it's such a nice feeling finishing a colouring book such a nice feeling and then it's lovely to just flip through it and just see all these coloured pages and you can sort of see the sort of moods and phases you're going through as well when you flip these books um because I'll go through stages of sometimes I'll be using a lot of soft pastel backgrounds with the circular template. So sometimes I'll go through phases of using a lot of distress ink with the water effect background. And you can really see that when you flip your pages and <laughs> what you was into at the time. Or I can with mine. Right, this bottom bit's still a tiny bit damp. It's okay around here now. Am I still in frame? Because I don't want to go off. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this anyway. I've been on a bit of a journey with this page because I didn't... Um, Normally when I choose to film, I do not do any planning. I know some people like to do test pages as a sort of test run before they film. So they might colour, they might print the same page off twice. They might do a practice page and then they'll film the second page. So they've got everything planned out. They know what they're going to do. They've got all the colours set out, which is awesome. And I only wish I was that organised, but I'm not. So I like to just... Um, if it works out it works out if it doesn't it doesn't but you see the process sometimes it's nice to see that process it's not turned out too bad if i did it again i wouldn't have put that orange color in but there we go that's that's the only thing it was really fun to just use that one medium on the page so like I said, I'm not sure if they've been discontinued or not, but what I'll do, if I can't find the Jim Davenport sticks to link below, I'll link similar products down below. So I'll link the gelatos and I'll try and find some other budget friendly ones. 
um, to link down below for you. And you can try them out. Because they are fun. They are fun. And it's up to you how adventurous you want to go with them. Completely up to you. So has anybody got a nice weekend planned? We've not. And the weather's not very nice either. We keep thinking the weather's going to pick up, the sun comes out, but then it goes really, really cold. And the kids were playing in the background, girls in the other day, and I was sat in the house. And it was freezing. I was like, stop coming in and out, decide where you want to play, because it's <laughs> I'm frozen. I was sat in the house with my coat on, thinking, how are they not cold out there? But they don't feel it, the kids, do they? They really don't feel it. And I'm sat in the house with my coat on and a hot cup of coffee in my hand. Thinking, oh, do they not want to come in yet? <laughs> I think this is the most time consuming when you get the white gel pen and decide to do something like this. Um, I did this with a her on one of the Mr. Cat Mirrors pages and it turned out fantastic. It looked brilliant in the end, but the time it took me to go over all those hair strokes with this white gel pen, oh my gosh, I'm not even lying. I think it took me about two hours just for the hair. It was, <laughs> it was a long time. Right, I'm going to turn the page slightly while we get the tops of these little bubbles. But I thought we could have a nice chat while I'm doing this anyway. So what else have I been up to? Not much, I'll tell you. We had a nice Easter. We had quite a nice Easter. Obviously no one was allowed in the house because we've not got to um, those easing of restrictions yet where anybody's allowed in the house. So we went round and dropped Easter eggs at the door of people's houses. Um, I made a roast dinner for our Easter lunch. So we had chicken, mashed potatoes, roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, carrots, peas, gravy. It was yummy. Um, but yeah, it was just us. Well, I said just us. There's um, me and my partner and five kids. So it's never quiet in this house anyway. Never quiet. Yeah, this gel pen's proving a bit more tricky on top of these colour sticks. You just have to keep going over a bit more. We normally you'd be able to do a sort of just one layer. I'm having to keep going over quite a bit. As you can see. So I just re recently did a haul video as well. Um, most of it was supplies that I needed to top up on. So I did get those blending stumps you just saw me using. I got some more of those because I do use them for my graphite pencil work as well or blending soft pastels. Um, so I got some of them. I got some more pan pastel tools. I got some gesso. I got one of the slice craft knives. So I thought that would be quite nice to try and do some fur with that on a pan pastel portrait. Um, I've not tried it out yet, I've not been brave enough, um, but I will be trying that out at some point. Yeah, so the majority was it was that. Um, I did get some pencils through the door yesterday. I couldn't help myself, um, but it's only a tin of 12 and it's the 12 Derwent drawing pencils. And I got them mainly for the Chinese white. Um, so that when I'm doing the pet portraits, I can use that because apparently it's a really good white and I thought it'd be good for the fur on my animals. So that was my excuse. But there is some nice earthy tones in the 12 set as well, which should be nice for pet portraits. 
some nice browns um i think there's a gray some nice there's a nice chocolate brown and a black so that's nice i'm just gonna turn my book upside down i know it's gonna be annoying but i don't want to put my hand in this side and smudge it so what i'm gonna do if i turn it upside down i can get to this corner easily here so we've only got this side and then it's done i promise you it's a lot of well white gel pen work but i wanted something else to stand out in the background try and draw the eye away from that orange a little bit a little tiny bit So my kids only go back to school on the 19th of April. So they'll probably have to wait until the 20th of April um, before I can do a live stream. Because the actual day that they go back to school, I've got an electrician come in to do a full, a full safety check of the house, which I've been told is going to take an hour. Um, and I don't know what time they're going to rock up. They can come anywhere from 8am in the morning until 2pm. So it's me sat in all day, not knowing when they're going to knock on the door, basically. Which is the worst, I hate that. Not that I've got anywhere to go, it's just the, it's just the unknown of not knowing which moment they're going to knock on your door. I just, yeah, I really don't like that. I don't like people being in the house either, to be honest. <laughs> Does anybody else get like that? You get really bad anxiety when somebody comes into your house. Don't know what to do with myself. Even when the window cleaner comes in, he's cleaning the windows on the outside of the house. I have to shut all the curtains so he's not staring at me. I just can't, I can't bear it. It's so funny. And there was someone painting the fences as well Um, the other day. And I wanted to go and make a cup of coffee in the kitchen so bad, but I knew he was painting the fence outside the kitchen window. Yeah, so I couldn't make a cup of coffee because I knew he was there painting the fence, staring into the window. <laughs> if I lost my train of conversation, then I had to go and tend to my little toddler. Who doesn't ask daddy for anything? Daddy can be in the same room and he'll still come and find me. It's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> I just love the mummies. I'm surprised my daughter's not been in yet, actually. She normally does. But they've just got some new Disney Infinity characters for the Xbox. So... They're occupied with them. They've just got a Rapunzel figure, a Racket Ralph, um, Star Lord of Galaxy of the Guardians of the Galaxy, is it? Um, <laughs> uh, Jasmine. Who else have they got? Oh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And they've got an Ant Man one coming at some point. We get them all second and off somewhere called C C E X. Um, because they're really cheap, second and and there's nothing wrong with them. Just the Disney Infinity characters. So I think there was only a couple of pounds each. Whereas if you go on Amazon you can pay eight and ten pounds for one character. Sometimes more, it depends what the character is. So I've just got this little tiny corner here, guys. Let's keep going. We're nearly there. I would normally time lapse these sort of things because I feel like they're a bit boring for you to watch. But I have been getting feedback that um, they would prefer real time of things. So I thought if I mix it up a bit, if I do. If I do a bit half and half, some things time lapse, some things real time, then we're sort of keeping everybody happy. And I, I don't mind. Like I say, I, I really don't mind real time. I just get paranoid that it's boring for you sat there watching it in real time. But if I'm getting feedback that you prefer that, then obviously, you know, 
that makes me feel a bit better on the home stretch home stretch of bubbles so I've got quite a few new beaks this month as well I'm really excited to colour in them all so I have got a poll up on my community tab for which colour and chat which book you would like to see me do a colour and chat in next so the options are the Johanna Basford's new book World of Wonder the new book by Hannah Carlson which is the Tales from the Forest Kingdom then we have the Circle of Life book which I've not coloured in yet um, brand new book to me that one and the Tim Jeff's Intricate Ink so I think the winner so far so far the front runner is the circle of life beak but if you want to go and vote on that poll um that'd be helpful i'm gonna leave it up um for a few more days give everybody a chance to vote on which they'd like to see and then i will get that color and chat filmed i'm excited to color in any of those beaks to be honest any of them so i won't be disappointed with whatever the um choices that you make <laughs> so i don't need to secretly sway you into any direction i'm happy whichever whichever last bubble guys last bubble There we go. Now I can turn you the right way up because we're still upside down. Turn you the right way up. Set the piece of paper out. And then we can take this tape off this page and hope it's not got stuck to it. I've got a little bit on there but it should rub off. That was from before I put the tape on. So let's have a look. Let's see if we're all in shot. Let's zoom you out a little bit. So you can see what we've done there it's not too bad it's not um i'm not 100 percent happy with it but it was just the background and um, the little dragon i really love but yeah i'm gonna put a lot another little highlight in his eye i think just a little bit of if it'll come out just a little tiny amount of white gel pen just because we love the white gel pen <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to recreate this, I'll drop some examples of the crayons you can use down below. Um, because I'm not 100% if you can get these Jane Davenport's on Amazon anymore. You might be able to do, but it's this skin set that I've used. Um, the Silk Skin Colour Sticks. But like I said, they're very similar to the Gelatos and there is other budget friendly brands out there. So I'll pop it down below. Please do give this video a thumbs up. And please do subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.